Hello Pisces, welcome to the Real Tarot 1123. I uh, am doing general readings and this is going to be for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. That will be the 20, 20th, 21st and 22nd of April, okay? I did pull some energy cards for you. We got the world, we got prosperity lies ahead and here we got the fire element which says the element of fire heralds new life, renewed passion and positive transformation. And then we got the little cat over there. At the end of it all, we'll see how, you know, it all ties in because it always does. Trust me, it always does. I don't know where to keep this. This is, I keep trying to move it around. Okay, there we go. I think that's a better spot for it. There we go. All right. It's too many cards, y'all. I'm not taking that. All right. You start off with the fool. How wonderful. You have the world and then you have the fool. So definitely starting off a new cycle in your life. Then we have the ace of swords. Beautiful energy. And then we have the moon. And here we have prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. So there could be some correlation of that. Check your horoscopes. Check your personal charts and see where the moon is or where Taurus is in your horoscope or your or chart. And also check to see when the next new moon in uh, Taurus is going to be. Um, so something significant uh, is to happen for you then. And it says prosperity lies ahead. So wow, maybe a new project is going to be starting. And you got the Ace of Swords over here as well. And then you got the, oh my God, Pisces, these cards are just so awesome. All right, this is unbelievable. <laughs> All right, you guys, so you have the fool, you see that? Wait, there you go. Uh, there you go, that's the fool. Then you have the ace of swords, right? Then the moon, the three of cups, and then you have the Ace of Cups. Okay, so there's clearly something very significant going on here. Or this is quite impactful for you guys. I would like for you all to really pay attention to this because you all have some repetitions over here. There are some synchronicities over here. You have two aces. You have the Fool, which, and then you also have the World card over here. So, and then you have the um, Prosperity lies ahead in the New Moon, and we also got the Moon card over here. So, clearly, oh, excuse, <coughs> excuse me. Woo! Ah, excuse me. So um, let's figure out what's going on, Pisces, for you for the 20th, 21st, and 22nd of April. So with the full card, obviously, it's about uh, fresh uh, new beginnings, taking chances, uh, um, new paths, new adventures, anything new, right? So you're probably starting off on a new adventure or a new path or some new project you're beginning on or you're beginning to get on or, you know, um, uh, planning, you're willing to take a chance. And then you have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is new ideas. It's also conflict and it could also mean um, surgery. But this card, um, I feel it is asking you right now, looking at the fool and looking at this and looking at the world card, I say, you need to have some mental clarity, okay? Don't get um, sidetracked with all the white noise laser sharp focus is what you need if you want to make whatever this new project or new endeavor or new adventure you're going on to be successful for you and i know it is going to be successful because we have the cups and three of cups and all that stuff which is fantastic but laser sharp focus keep focused and then we have the moon card so clearly something is um still hidden it needs to come to light okay well obviously with the moon they say it's uh, she she hides a lot. It's very, uh, 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 very mysterious, right? You may have um, some sudden changes. Some things may come to light all of a sudden. I would say trust your intuition. There could be some unseen little hiccups, problems, hurdles. So laser sharp focus. And you have to have it to overcome whatever this pops up around the new moon, okay? Um, I do believe it is going, not the new moon. Do I want to say the new moon? 
I would say the full moon, okay, whatever the full moon is, I don't know when it is. Anyway, and then you have the Three of Cups, which is fantastic, right? The Three of Cups is all about, you know, friendship, considerations, uh, support, uh, circle of friends, uh, rejoicing, um, celebrating something, having fun. Um, and clearly you have some support, right? So there are some, going to be people around you who are going to be supportive of your new adventure, your new endeavor, your new project, whatever this may be. And then you have the Ace of Cups. A uh, new relationship, it could be proposal, it could be marriage. Relation to, relationship doesn't necessarily mean like uh, like with another person. It could also be, a, you know, a relationship as in terms of a business environment or a work career type of situation. Um, and it also, well, it could also mean a new baby in the horizon, right? So that is something to keep in mind. Um, this is beautiful. I am loving this. I am actually loving this. So let's... Uh, Take a look and see what the, um, what you call, um, oh, there we go, let's set that there, or not, there, too many cards, too many cards, um, excuse the noise y'all, I have my little window open just to let some air in and it's cool enough not to have the AC on but I think my neighbors are doing some work uh, um, in their yard. Um, if it gets a little too noisy, I'll shut that window down. All right, I wanna see what's with the new moon, okay? Let's pull a card for the new moon. No, you don't wanna come out, okay? Can I have a card for the new moon, please? A clarifier, all right. And you have the emperor. <laughs> Oh my God. So it's leadership, strategic planning, a father figure. So whatever is hidden is going to come to light around the full moon, I would say. Um, keep your focus, okay? Don't get, like I said, don't get sidetracked with all the white noise and all the um, irritations around you that you're going to have. You have to show... Um, your leadership skills, take charge, okay? Be the leader, okay? Show show what leadership skills you are, show what, what you're capable of as a leader, right? And I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure that is what people are looking forward to. You need to take a hold of the situation, whatever this situation is. Take control and show your leadership skills, show that you have that razor sharp focus and show that you're capable of being a leader and uh, also, you know, with the emperor, it's not all about taking leadership and running off and doing things and all that is fine and dandy, but it's also strategic planning. It's showing that you have compassion. It's showing that you know and respect what others have to say. But at the end of the day, you are the leader and you do take the um, final decision. That is not coming from a place of egotism or, or, or um, such. It's coming from, from the place of, um, wait, how can I explain it? So a true leader is compassionate, yet knows when and how to take and make decisions that will benefit everybody, including, obviously, himself or herself. So um, be cognizant of that um, and don't let your ego get in the way, okay? That's what I would like to say. Don't let your ego get in the way. I'm going to pull some uh, tea cards. Y'all, I'm telling you, these cards are just the bomb, but shuffling it good lord almighty i will try to shuffle them without losing them <laughs> they are quite a handful <laughs> okay i would like one more tea card please Okay, I'll take that too because that was just about to fall off anyway. All right. This was first, this is second, and this is third. Oh my goodness, how cool is this, y'all? Okay. So the first one I got was the fair woman. Can you see that? And it says dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Okay. 
Now, before everybody goes off on a tangent and say, oh, we want to be all inclusive, so on and so forth, I understand inclusivity is the key in this day and age, in this environment, all right? And some tarot decks, okay, I'm going off on a tangent, but bear with me, some tarot decks don't cater to and are not all inclusive in terms of the multitude of ethnicities that we have in today's world. However, this deck does have that. They do have that. They have included that. So please know that this deck does. I wouldn't use uh, certain decks because they are not all inclusive. Okay, so just know that. Um, so this, well, it could be somebody, it could also, doesn't necessarily have to be a person who has blonde hair. As it says, it could be somebody with gray hair or white hair. So it could be an older, more mature uh, uh, lady who is, uh, um, you're going to have dealings with, or you're going to have a support um, or her backing or interactions with, okay? And then you have love. So clearly, this is beautiful, I love this. And then followed by love, you have the egg, okay, which says, success assured with good plans and hard work. So I, I don't think, to me, I don't think this is gearing towards a personal relationship type of a reading. I think this is more career or business or new venture type of situation. You will have the backing of this senior lady, this older, more mature lady for sure. Um, and then obviously her backing to you uh, or her backing you is coming from a place of love. So it could be an older member of the family, somebody at work who, um, who, um, What's what I'm looking up? Your mentor, uh, that sort of thing, okay? Who's watched out for you and who's always said, you know, that uh, individual, you know, whoever the individual is, uh, uh, is capable of a lot and, we're, you know, that sort of thing, you know, has good uh, opinions about you and speaks of you in good light. And then clearly it's a success assured with good plans and hard work. So again, like I said, razor sharp focus is a must, okay? And around the full moon, something is going to come to light. Something is going to be brought out in the open that you were not aware of. And it's not bad. It's not a negative thing. And it's not going to throw you um, asunder, if you will. It's just going to, you might have to tweak your plans or your strategy a little bit. So, and again, uh, with the emperor, please know that this is all about leadership, taking action, taking control. But don't do it from the point of view of, um, huh. don't let it come from ego, okay? Let it come from being a true leader who really has the best interest of the project, the group, the endeavor at heart and not just for himself or herself, okay? That's what I have to say. Um, I'm going to pull some of, the, oh, before I do that, um, we have the world card and then followed by the fool. I think I touched that at the beginning. I said, obviously, with the world card, you do, you know, it's all about uh, completing a goal or a lesson or uh, uh, travel um, could mean competition. It could be in completing of a cycle, whatever that is. So you have that and then followed by the full, which is fantastic because after that, you start off on this new endeavor. Prosperity lies ahead. And here too, you have this, the egg, which says uh, success assured with good plans and hard work. You have the Three of Cups and you have the Ace of Cups. I mean, this is fantastic, okay? Whatever it is, this endeavor is of yours or project or whatever, or, you know, only you know how this pertains to you in your personal life. Maybe this is a relationship situation. Either way you look at it, this is like win, win, win. And then you have Prosperity Lies Ahead, New Moon in Taurus. So watch out for that, okay? Uh, not in a negative way. Uh, look at your charts, check your horoscopes and see, you know, where the moon is and um, Taurus, if you have anything over there in that particular uh, zodiac sign or where Taurus is or how it corresponds to you and your um, your personal horoscope and such. And uh, you will, that should shed some light for you. Now, um, Pisces is uh, obviously uh um water sun is it's ruled by jupiter and neptune and taurus is venus and earth okay so um it's beautiful it's this is a fantastic and then you throw in a little bit of fire too in that how cool is that it says the element of fire heralds new life renewed passion and positive transformation so looking at the egg and this renewed life and all, maybe it is a pregnancy situation. Maybe it's a partnership or a relationship with another individual. Maybe somebody just got married. Maybe somebody ha just found out they're having a baby and uh, they're preparing for that or whatever. That's a possibility too. Now, as far as this little cat is concerned, I mean, think about the, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? The 
character traits of a cat, right, in general, um, they do tend to be a little bit more aloof, right? <laughs> they are not as, okay, don't get me wrong, you guys, I'm a dog person, I've never had a cat, but dogs and horses all day long. Um, but cats are a little bit more, uh, they're not as interactive as canines are. Now, all those cat lovers, please know I love y'all, appreciate y'all, I love cats. I've never had a cat, but my uh, personal experiences, they're not that interactive or as interactive as dogs and canines are. However, I have a book on these um, animal thingies. Let's take a look at that and see what it says. Uh, I hope I find it. Oh my goodness, where did I keep it? Okay. This is another set of cards though, but I didn't use them today, but I'm sure they have the cat in it. Let me, give me one second. But they're very graceful, no? These cats, felines. Hey, you know what? It's the funniest thing. I have to turn my camera and show you. I have this big, <laughs> I'm not a cat person, okay? I, I, I just, you caught me in a lie, you guys. Let me show you something. Okay, here we go. Excuse me. Ah. Okay. Cats are independent. Uh, uh, um, the symbolism of a cat is independence, magic, and abundance. So there you go. Independence, magic, and abundance. So right behind me, I have this big, uh, let me show you. Let me turn the camera. You see that? That big thing of the lion. <laughs> and I don't want to turn the camera around because that spot ahead of me has got a lot of things in it. It looks a little bit messy and I don't want to show it. But right uh, across when I look up, I see this beautiful poster I have. It's called Daydreams by Carol Lawson. And it's a picture of a Bengal tiger. Wait, two Bengal tigers and a little cat <laughs> on a full moon. So uh, sometime when I get this spot, wait, how many Bengal tigers? Let me see. One, two, three, four. Four Bengal tigers and a cat on top. So you guys, um, there you go. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's not that I dislike cats. I've never had a cat, all right? And uh, I think they're beautiful, beautiful, very graceful creatures. So that's that. Uh, where are we at time? Mm -hmm. So I got Scorpio and I got Pisces. Oh my God, something's in my eye. So Pisces, you see that? And it says intuitive. So yeah, Pisces are intuitive, right? Um, so clearly the moon shows up here. It's quite significant, it's in the center of the reading. So trust your in instincts, okay? We all know that you're intuitive, trust your instincts, okay? Um, and uh, Pisces is ruled by Jupiter and Neptune. And then we have the Scorpio over here, which says passionate. Now clearly, can you see that you guys? Okay, so maybe somebody with, um, with uh, or maybe you have a Scorpio, which is significant in your chart. I don't know, maybe there's somebody, maybe this lady is a Scorpio. There's a possibility she's a Taurus also. Um, and then I have some other alf um, letters over here. Uh, I have S as in Sam. I'll try to show you guys. These are so tiny. Oh, S as in Sam. Let me see. Right? And then I have G. Okay, W. Now, just because I said SS and Sam doesn't mean Sam is, is the name I'm thinking of. I just say it like SS and Sam, G as in George, W as in William. So whoever has names starting with S or whoever the other individual is, uh, their name starts with an S, G or W could be significant for you. Then we have T, then we have O, and then we have I. Wait, is this O or zero? Hang on, you guys. I will make sure. 
No, this is zero. I'm sorry. This is zero. Let's put these numbers together. So are there any? Well, you have a full card, which is zero, and you have another zero. So definitely, definitely a new endeavor. And three, what do we have? 21 is a world card, which is three. Okay, so we have a three for that. Do I have a seven or an eight? Uh, I don't have a seven and I don't have an eight. Um, let me look at the significance. So maybe seven and eight are important numbers for you. Three for sure. And let's see what the significance of zero and three is. Hang on one second, you guys. The spot has become a little messy here. Hello. Ah. Oh my goodness. So three is imagination, creativity, lifestyle, characteristics of a celebrity. Ooh. And uh, which one did we say? Eight. Eight is material, personality, wisdom, confidence, and compromise. And seven is the path of the explorer, philosophical mind, and self-analysis. Um, usually when I pull these numbers thingies, I, it usually pertains to your horoscope when you drew the, draw your whatever the horoscope and look at all these th houses where your chart is. I mean... Let me rephrase that. Oh my God, sometimes I tell you guys I forget how to speak. So let's say you're a Pisces, your third house. What lies in your third house? Okay, what star, what planet lies in your third house could be significant. Um, the eighth house is significant and the seventh house is significant. So think about those things and um, uh, see, you know, how this all fits in. I wouldn't know. Like I said, these are general readings. So, you know, um, you have to take what resonates with you. But otherwise, if you just take it for numeric value in terms of zero is starting from scratch, new endeavor, clear, the slate is clean and you're starting something new. Three obviously could be a significant number for you because you have two threes over here. And seven and eight. Uh, let me take, um, do I have the house charts with me? I was going to explain it to you, but I don't unfortunately at this point in time. Hang on you guys, where is? I thought I had it over here. Okay, the third house is self, how you show your feelings. So number three in astrology, if you look at it, it's all about how you show your feelings and it's about yourself. And the seven house is knowledge, spiritual growth, analytical nature and intuition. So Pisces are intuitive people. So clearly, you know, I mean, they are, they, Neptune and Jupiter. Jupiter is all about knowledge, expansion, wanting to know what the universe is all about. And Neptune, of course, we know what Neptune is, right? So uh, take that into consideration and uh, uh, do leave your comments below. I would love to hear from you guys and uh, see you uh, next. Uh, I'm going to do a weekend, uh, weekend reading. It'll be for the 23rd. Wait. Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So it'll be for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, thanks, you guys. Take care. Bye.